Hi folks, so Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Uh, we've gone back to recording on the uh, included camera app on the Mi A2. Uh, so uh, hopefully we're not going to have any weird sounds. You might hear some music playing in the background. Uh, that's because we're kind of testing out the... Uh, uh, these things, the Elector or Elector D10s, hopefully we can get that to focus a little, there we go, and uh, bring it back to me, and uh, I started these up hours ago, I'm not going to leave them stuck in my ears, uh, but we'll get to all the details on them right after the intro, let's do that now. All right, folks, I'm back, uh, and you can probably, I don't know if you can hear those or not, but they're still playing in the background. I'm not going to sit around all day with them in my ear. Um, I have set, for the purpose of these, the testing today, the final review, uh, I've set the volume at 80%. I did switch over to the little square dot caps rather than the rounded ones. And they actually go into my ear and feel a little better. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say they're more comfortable. I would say they're not. They're, they're still a pain in the ass to change. I can still hear this playing. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, leave them in my ear all day. What I will tell you is I set the volume to 80% for this test, for the, you know, use test. And the fact that they're laying a good, I don't know, three feet from me, and I can actually hear them, and I can even identify the song. I mean, it, it's not brilliantly loud or anything, but it's pretty good. So, we're going to go over some of the pros and cons here. Um, let's start with the cons. The, the button, the clicky buttons are fine. Uh, they're just, you know, you're shoving them into your ear each time. When you do that, you can put your thumb behind your ear kind of and do that. Uh, on the left button, I don't know if it's a quality control problem or not. If I press it at the bottom occasionally, it'll stick. Quality control problem. I don't know. Maybe I just have to learn how to center my finger up on it a little better. Uh, they do pair quickly. Uh, they work every time. Uh, as far as pairing goes, at least with my new mobile G3 and with the uh, phone we're filming on, which is the Mi A2 as usual. Uh, and... Uh, the instruction manual is, it's pretty detailed. It's actually pretty good. I mean, they got everything covered here. Uh, I read all of it so I could learn, you know, all the good stuff about the buttons, the charging, etc. Um, considering the price, I would call these a pretty decent quality uh, the product that is absolutely worth your money if you're just seeking to spend less than $30 on a set of earbuds. And uh, we won't know the end result of the uh, um, how long they last at 80%, but it uh, shouldn't be uh, anything less than about, I'm going to guess we'll get about the four hours they promise. Although, I believe in the Amazon site they set up to six hours. Now for me, 50% is more than enough. I value my hearing way too much. Uh, and uh, they come nicely packaged. It 
everything you need is in the box. There's enough of your tips to sink a battle cruiser. Um, you know, you get the softer rounded ones, and then you get the little squared off ones. You get three sizes of each. And if anyone has a tip on how to get those on and off easier, leave it in the comments below. And of course, all the uh, items I'm speaking of, like the MiA2, the uh, MPOW tripod with the flash I'm using, you know, for filler light, uh, will be linked in the description below. Also, uh, make sure to read that. It will take you to my affiliate links. So let's go with the pros. They pair up quickly. They're easy to operate. Once you figure out, you have to pair to the left one. And then the left one and the right one, yeah, connect. They've already connected to each other once you get them out of the box. And then you just go ahead and do your pairing up. They don't auto pair or anything like that. Uh, sometimes they will. Uh, if you move from phone to phone, you'll have to go in and tell it to connect. I, I'm guessing that's just the nature of the beast with earbuds. But if you're pairing to the same phone every time, boom, you're in. So all that being said, uh, that's pretty much my review of these things. Uh, except for how long they play for. So we're going to come back to that. Probably be hours from now. It's, we'll have totally different lighting in here. Because the sun's going to be on the other side of the building. Uh, but, uh, we'll see. I think we're going to get the four hours out of them at 80%. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. And now, using the super cool selfie stick button, I'll be back. All right, folks. Uh, so I'm back with some final conclusions on these. Uh, the Electro D10s, the True Wireless Earbuds, uh, under 25 bucks. You know, don't expect a lot out of them, but I got, uh, finally, uh, four hours and 47 minutes out of them. I started getting warned about, eh, um, eight minutes before they just said power off. I kept one of them in my ear near the end. I knew it was getting there. Because I got about... You know, I got well over five hours the other night. But that was on 50%. The volume on these were run at the uh, full... Well, not full. Somewhere between 75 and 80% using my new mobile G3 and Rocket Player. And, of course, your mileage is going to vary depending on what you're listening to. Uh... There's a wide variety of songs that this thing had to choose from. Uh, I just set up, I told the phone, play all of them randomly. And, of course, I took the thing out of my ear because it would be songs I, you know, just didn't feel like listening to. But, bottom line here, that's pretty damn good battery life and it jives with what's on the packaging. You know, they say four, you know, up to four hours, I think. Or four hours playback time. Let's see. Uh, four hours. Up to. Well, actually, we went over that. So, they're not lying to us, folks. That's, uh, that's pretty damn decent. Uh, lifespan. I mean, sure, it's not like a set of headphones or, uh, uh, the Eunice Angle 3 that's sitting right next to the electors over here. Uh, but the batteries in those are considerably larger. Uh, I think these have like a 50 milliamp hour battery. So, all that being said, we're going to come to uh, some final conclusions. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to talk to you and tell you what I think. Be right back. Okay, folks. Final conclusion on these. They're worth your money. Every bit of it. Uh, I just dropped them back into the uh, 
charging box and they're madly charging away where they're in there pretty securely with their little magnetic mounts. Uh, let's face it, for under $25, 4 hours and 47 minutes playback time, a nice case that you can tell when you closed it. Well, and uh, they'll probably charge up in, I don't know, two, two and a half hours. We'll see. Uh, nice packaging. Check the uh, uh, cards that will pop up at the end here. The end screen, you know, end screen thingies. And one of them will have the unboxing. It, it They come with the, both kinds of those uh, ear tips, the rounded ones and the uh, kind of squared off ones such as this. And uh, they pair up well. They work. Now, sound-wise, okay. They're not, probably not as good as my Empa headphones are. But, they're still pretty darn good. They're out of sight, out of mind kind of things. Uh, you, you can, you know, just stick one of them in your ear and answer phone calls and do things like that. I didn't do any call quality testing because nobody ever calls me. Not even using Facebook Messenger. So, uh, uh, due to that... I couldn't really tell you about the microphones, uh, but I'm I'm willing to say they're not going to be horrible. I uh, probably should have done an audio recording at least to try them out. Uh, let's see. Beyond that, I don't know what else to tell you. They're under twenty five dollars. They're worth every penny. Everything I've talked about in this video will be linked in the description below. Read that. Leave us some feedback, and if you found this informative and helpful, hey, subscribe to our channel. We could use some subscribers so we can buy more stuff like this. It would really help uh, the channel out. Uh, and uh, who knows? You might see something else you like. We don't just test earbuds here. We're no experts on earbuds at all. I mean, you want ex an expert... Look up El Jefe for reviews. He uh, is soon to be added to my reviewers I like. I did a video on him a few days ago and why you should watch his channel. Uh, and that's all I have for today. So make sure like, subscribe, share, leave feedback. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. With a tutorial we have coming out on Nits versus Lux. Oh, science. Ain't it wonderful?